Hello my lovelies, how are we all today? I hope you're all really well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, then hi, my name is Kate. So I'm really excited about today's video. It is my coat collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that coats are my thing. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I'd probably say bags and coats are the two items that I just absolutely love and I could never have enough of. I just think you can mix and match so many different outfits with different coats and bags to create loads of different combinations. So I've got about 12 coats to show you. I do actually have more. But I've really been in the process of decluttering my wardrobe, selling lots, giving lots of charity because I only want to have things in my wardrobe that I absolutely love and will wear over and over again because I had quite a few coats that I did really like but I just wasn't really going to grab for them that often and I'd rather have a smaller collection with coats that I just adore than loads and loads of notes that are okay, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I've rounded up my 12 faves and i'm going to show you guys okay so here is my collection of coats this whole rail is just satisfying me so much right now i don't know why but just seeing all my coats in one place and in color order really makes my soul happy <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna try them on one by one this is my outfit i'm gonna be wearing underneath the coats the good thing about winter is that you can pretty much wear the same outfit underneath the coat and it looks like you're wearing a different outfit every single day so yeah this is pretty much my go-to outfit in the winter i've got this top shot knit on and it's super soft super cozy and then i wear a long sleeve thermal top underneath it and then these are my rebellious skinny jeans and they're leather so i love the way that the leather adds a bit of texture to the outfit outfit and makes it less boring and then these trainers are my Alexander McQueen so I've just got them clean so they're nice and white. First up we have this new look puffer jacket so it's a super simple design with the collar zip down and it's actually got these little togs here so you can make it tight at the bottom. The pockets do not have zips which I do find a bit frustrating because this jacket is that more practical everyday jacket it would be nice if it had zips because then you just know that your stuff is secure especially because I use this for like when I go on country walks I use this for horse riding as well and you can't put anything in the pockets because it might fall out but other than that I do really love this jacket and it is very warm and I just feel like it looks really cool with any outfit and it kind of gives that like roadman chic kind of vibe if you know what I mean. Next up we have the PLT oversized jacket. I think this is probably my most worn jacket ever. I just always go to grab this one because I'm absolutely in love with it. So the inside is lined with a nice soft faux fur and then the outside material is like this kind of faux suede slash leather. It's really soft so I love the texture of it and then it has some good zip pockets and it actually did come with a belt but i've removed the belt because it just annoyed me so i wear this in a size six definitely stay true to size because it is already a nice oversized fit i just find that this jacket looks good with absolutely everything you wear whether you're dressing it up you can just chuck it over like a nice dress if you're going out or you can wear it with joggers it's just really really versatile and dare i say it i think this actually is my favorite coat slash jacket so I got this last year and I've worn it to death and it has absolutely no signs of any wear which is really impressive because the price is I think it's around £60 which is so good for the quality so yeah definitely give this coat a solid 10 out of 10. Next up we have this gorgeous faux fur Topshop number. So with this coat I sized up two sizes to a 10 just because I really love an oversized coat and I like to be able to fit lots of layers underneath it. So it's got this really gorgeous oversized collar and it's a quite a good length as well like it comes just above the knee and I don't know if you can see but there's a little fastening here so if you do want to do it up you can but it's like an invisible fastening so it doesn't really ruin the aesthetic of the coat so out of all of my coats this one is a little bit more pricey it's £85 which I still think is very very good for a coat and if somebody told me that this was over £200 I would 100% believe them because the quality is so good and it's got a really good weight to it so it is nice and warm it's not really showing up on camera all of that well but I do just think that this is a really good statement coat. They also have it in a nice like brownie colour as well but um, I just opted for the black. This coat is definitely more of a dressing up kind of coat. For example I wouldn't wear this with joggers just because it does look so chic and classy. Okay so we now have this pretty little thin coat. 
So it's just a lovely long line teddy coat. I'll show you the details. It's got this lovely big collar and then these big sort of statement pockets, which I just love. And then these tortoiseshell buttons going down the side. I find that this is a really easy just chuck on coat and it just goes with every single outfit I pair it with. I'd say that this is definitely more of a casual coat as opposed to the Topshop one. I probably wouldn't pair this with like an out, out outfit, if that makes sense. Just because I feel like it is that slouchy oversized cuddly material. But yeah, I do absolutely love this coat and it is a bit of a statement so you can just chuck it on over a boring outfit and it just jazzes it up a little bit next up we have the softest faux fur coat in the world i wish i could sleep in this because i can't explain to you how soft it is so this coat is from new look and i actually got this in a size i think it's 16 because there weren't any others left and although that is five sizes too big for me i kind of feel like the oversizedness makes it look more high-end and premium i don't know if i'm just kidding myself by saying that but i think it does they also have this coat in about four other colors including a nice white one they're only 45 pounds and they just look so expensive so yeah new look have really come through with these so the only thing i would say is that when it's undone you can see the fastenings here and i don't know i just think it looks a little bit ugly sometimes but it's not a massive issue but yeah absolutely love it and it is so warm as well i just can't believe it is 45 pounds it's an absolute steal so yeah i can't can't wait to wear this one more it's quite new so i haven't actually had a chance to wear it out and about yet okay so now onto another new look coat there's a nice gray long line coat with a good belt around the middle i think that this coat is a really good smart casual everyday coat with it being quite structured and neat i do think it is a perfect coat for like work and stuff but while still being on trend and fashionable i can't remember exactly how much this was i think it was around 50 pounds and i got this in a size 10 just so that again i can layer up underneath it again i think this looks really expensive it really reminds me of the mango coat that everyone went mad for last year and the manga coat is about £170 so this is another really good new look steal but yeah I really really like this coat it's definitely my go-to more businessy kind of coat I wear this to my meetings a lot when I want to look a bit more smart I've worn this quite a few times now and there's no signs of wear and there's no like bobbles on the sleeves or anything so hopefully that's today's but yeah I think the quality is really good so far I absolutely love this coat this is my gorgeous friend Lorna Lux's design with her in the style collection and she's completely pulled out the bag I'm in love with it it's this gorgeous really long check coat and it is that really perfect balance between smart and casual um, it's smart with like the nice tailoring around the front then with it being so long and oversized I think that makes it a little bit more casual so you can really easily dress it up or down I just think it is such a gorgeous statement coat and one that isn't going to go out of style because it is such a classic design another thing it's very soft and it has a good weight for it considering the price tag I think it's around £50 I feel so luxurious I mean Lorna would only go for the best so I can always trust that her collection is going to be good quality oh and I got this one in a size 8 now on to the absolute teddy coat of dreams which is this gorgeous quiz coat here so i bought the cream one last year and then this year i could not resist getting the brown one because it just looks so expensive it is such a perfect dupe for the max mara coats they are super oversized and thick which is just great nice pockets and then it's got the button fastenings and it's a nice long line coat too i wear these in a size eight and i think they're around 70 pounds i just think they're such gorgeous coats i always get so many compliments when i wear these and the best thing about them is that they are so warm so on a cold day this will always be my go-to coat either this one or the cream one because yeah they're really really snug okay so now onto this coat here this one is actually from i saw it first i don't believe they sell it anymore I've got the link and the link hasn't been working for ages. So what I'll do is I'll link one that's similar. I absolutely love the look of this coat. I think it's very nicely fitted, nicely designed. I love the colour. However, I'm not going to lie. I wore this a lot last year and then I pulled it out this year. And I just found that the quality has deteriorated a lot. Like the inside lining is falling apart a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but here... It's just really, really bobbly. And that's instantly just such a turn off for me. And it's such a shame because last year I absolutely loved it. And I was really impressed with the quality. But yeah, it has just kind of deteriorated this year a bit. However, on a more positive note, Topshop do a very similar one. And yeah, with Topshop you can definitely rely on the quality a lot more. So I would highly recommend that one. If I didn't have this one, I would 100% buy the Topshop one. But I feel like I don't want to waste this one. But yeah, when this one's on its last legs, I'm definitely going to purchase another one. Because a camel coat is definitely a wardrobe must. Again, it's 
it's one of those timeless styles that will never go out of fashion and they're just so chic and also for me I know it's not exactly a colour but it does definitely warm up my wardrobe a little bit because I do often wear either blacks or like creams so it's nice to have a bit of a warmer tone in my wardrobe. Now onto another quiz clothing coat. This one is like that new look one so it's super super soft faux fur and it's a little bit shorter so it's a bit more cropped rather than the other long line coats that I have. It's funny because I would never really shop at quiz. I've tried their clothes before and I don't love the quality however with their coats the quality is really really high so yeah it's a bit odd but I do really recommend their coats. So this one is really nice and snuggly. Um, it's weird though, I don't really go to grab this one that often. I don't know why because I do love it. So yeah, I definitely need to incorporate this into my outfits a lot more this winter because it is really lovely. So this one is the other big Teddy Maxi quiz coat. And apart from my black aviator jacket, this is my all-time favourite coat. I just think it is stunning, such a statement. I've said it all already with the other brown quiz coat but... I just love the colour of this. I don't think I can rave about it enough, but yeah, it's just stunning. And again, exactly the same as the Max Mara coat and very, very expensive looking. And then last but not least is this stunning Topshop aviator jacket it's this lovely shirling material but then it has like this suede panelling alongside it and then silver hardware details so i saw this in top shop the other day and i picked it up straight away because this is just my style to a t super cozy but a bit of a statement so i picked this up in a size eight which is one size too big for me but um i think it fits really well i could probably go up to a size 10 just if i want it a bit more big but it is already a little bit oversized i think it's a really perfect jacket for just chucking on in the winter nice casual day i'll show you guys again a picture with how i've styled it but I do think it looks really cool with just an all black outfit underneath. So this one is definitely a new contender um, in one of my faves. Okay, so that was my last coat I had to show you guys. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video because I loved making it. Make sure you go and like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And yeah, I love you all so, so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.